hello everyone so you want to make almost any kind of website so Django uh, Django is a web framework as you can see here a web framework for professionalist with deadlines so Django is super fast and it is built to make better web app more quickly and with very very less code so it is ridiculously fast secure yeah it is very very secure and yeah there is no <coughs> limits of being secure uh, it is scalable you know you can take it to any level as your project grows the Django can grow and it will make you help it grow you can use it in any kind of production work so these are the main features of Django and I am using Django from last three years and from my Django experiences like uh, making uh, from a synchronous web app and I have used Ajax and now uh, we, you can also integrate like I'm showing here AIOS TTP also the asynchronous web frameworks uh, for um, Python the AIOS TTP and you can integrate it uh, this is for asynchronous request without page refreshing you can use Ajax and when the server is sending you continuous requests uh, you can use AI or HTTP so uh, it's, uh, it's our time to begin with Django so for Django um, first of all let me create a new project so I will set up everything almost everything uh, that we will be needing here so uh, let's create a new directory make directory uh, Django And in this Django, I am starting a new project. Start. So to start a new project, we use Django admin. Start project. And the name of our project is blog. So we are creating a new blog app. It will have everything. Uh, firstly, we will create simple blocks. Then we will move forward for our user authentication then we'll make a notification also so every time a user uh, creates a new blog you will uh, you will receive a notification then we will go for api building so that you can integrate your project with react and react native so that you can create mobile application of android and ios with the same project and you can create uh, your react js single page application without uh, without having any page refresh and without using jquery or any kind of ajax okay so let's uh, let's start so here we're getting the new project now as i will see whenever a new project is created we have a new folder created there and the folder is here block so let's move into this uh, folder cd block there is always in file manage.py make sure the manage.py is everything uh, regarding the run server thing that we will needing so python manage.py run server so as you uh, do this uh, you have the new server running at http 127.0.0 and 800 here so as you will see this is python welcome page the uh, the, the install worked successfully congratulations so before uh, doing all this thing as you you will need uh, further on the virtual environment so let me set up that thing also here so by breaking the server by control plus c um, to set up a virtual environment on mac as i am doing here virtual e and v and the name of the virtual environment it is pretty same for windows also so now it is setting up the virtual environment it is kind of package bundling like uh, you may have different dependencies installed so it help you to um, make a wrapper of uh, what you need in your this particular project so as my um, name of the uh, virtual environment was VAENV so I have to do source name of the virtual environment as I did above slash bin slash activate so it will activate the virtual environment and if you are on windows then you have to write the name then um, make sure you use this uh, slash then scripts then activate so it is for windows users so i just shown here 
all right so we don't need it here so as the virtual environment is already activated by this so this is newly created virtual environment and we have to install python in it so pip install uh, sorry and python django in it django as it is already installed in my system so i'm just showing you how to do and the latest version right now is 2.0.17 so i'm installing it is collecting the django and yeah uh, it is saying that can't find 2.0.7 uh, because you, I have you don't mm, I haven't used pip3 so for this kind of thing I have to use pip3 because it is for python 3 so it is saying that the requirements are already satisfied so mm, uh, okay I will move forward now so python so I have to either uh, use, because I want to use python 3 so I have to aliage uh, if you have only python uh, 3.6 installed then you don't have to do this thing as I have python 2.7 I use python 3.6 and python 3.7 all, all are installed so i have to uh, alias the user of python 3 and uh, neglecting the user of python 2.0 for 2.7 so yeah, that's why i'm doing this so now i can run python manage dot py run server yeah, as i did earlier now i have virtual environment installed now for the time being i neglect this migration warning we will uh, talk it out later all right so this is my python project now open this uh, project in vs code it was in block and here i have my project so in this particular section i am in block and the, these are the files so let me talk about it one by one so whenever you create a new project there is a manager py file uh, it is all about running the server and everything so it is saying that if you don't have um, installed the django so it is says that can't import django and all the warning comes these are because of the manager py thing and the name same blog name name app is here the blog thing this is main major section this is setting py file we'll talk about it later on so the main thing is here is for the, the time being is install the, the apps that we are using uh, apps in Django uh, are the separate entity you um, the particular code blocks that you write for a particular function okay uh, we will talk about it later then these are some settings and uh, these are middlewares when the request paths from the URL uh, of your browser to Django server it goes somewhere in middleware every time now uh, let's create a new URL and let me uh, show you by creating some views. So uh, how everything works, uh, let's work on it. So for uh, the time being, uh, 